so Butcher is kind of um, a really fun character to watch, and I have to imagine he was a fun character to, to sink your teeth into. Can you talk a little bit about inhabiting this guy and, and what kind of appealed to you about him? About him? Well, uh, it, it was a very complex and interesting character to uh, approach. Um, you know, I would sort of best describe him, and he's so multifaceted, but faceted, but uh, he, he is Machiavellian in nature. Um, he is a deceiver. <laughs> um, he's highly manipulative. He is very dangerous. He has got um, skills that, uh, you know, brutal physical skills, and he has an agenda, and he has a goal to take down this elite group of of superheroes, and when we meet him in uh, in the pilot, he is down and out in his luck. Um, you know, really h has hit rock bottom, and he sees an opportunity in the in the uh, in the character of Huey. He sees an opportunity to exploit a, a a weakness to get an in with this superhero corporation, and 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 that's what he does. He utilizes. He uses Huey. What was your first reaction when you read this? I mean, did you know anything about the boys? Before? No, I didn't know. I, I didn't know anything. I uh, I read the script. I thought this is diabolical. I haven't seen or read anything like this before. I felt that it was you know really quite timely to have a, an alternative narrative uh, on the whole superhero genre. Uh, and uh, but most importantly, I, I related to the characters and and uh, felt that it was. Um, uh, there were just some really sort of interesting dynamics going on, and it's a good story. Did you go back and like read the comic uh, once? once yeah, I did. Yeah, I went back and checked into Garth Ennis's comic, which is utterly brilliant and tonally, you know, a little bit different. It's very, very graphic, and you know, we you, you know we didn't go uh, that far. Uh, quite thankfully, it just wouldn't have been. Uh, uh, appropriate. <laughs> I don't know where you could actually. I don't think you could film that. No, you know. So, but they, they did a great job of uh, you know of adapting it, and um, uh, you know, sort of really, I feel that the essence of what Garth has created is uh, is, is what you're going to see on TV. Well, you've played another comic book character, of course, Judge Dredd. Right. Um, we've heard talk that there's going to be a TV show. Yeah. What can you tell me about that? Is there any updates on that? Not much. I, I, I really don't mo know much. I had a couple of preliminary meetings. Jeez, uh, it's got to be a couple of years ago now, so it's a long gestating project. And, you know, I've gone on the record saying, listen, if, 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 if I had the opportunity to, um, uh, to get back into that world and, and uh, explore more stories, that I'm, I, I'd be down for it. I think it's going to happen. People need to see that. Yeah, come on. Well, it's, um, it's, it's crazy. I mean, it's been a few years since that movie came out. And um, one of the most commonly asked questions I get is, when's Dread 2? Right. Uh, <laughs> Wish we knew. Right. <laughs> <laughs>